All right, so this is the problem set for module six, lesson six. And um, the first problem says to complete each missing part, describing each array, and we're supposed to circle the rows. Now, remember that rows go back and forth, okay? So let's come in and take a look at these rows and come in and circle these. So it looks like I've got five rows, right? Because I've got one, two, three, four, five. So I have five rows of blank equal blank. Now we've got one, two, three in each row. So we would simply come through here just like this. Put little threes next to all of these. Um, and of course that means we have to come down here and put threes in all of these blanks over here. So uh, five rows of three. And then we have three plus three, which is six, plus three, which is nine, plus three, which is twelve, plus three, which is fifteen. Um, so I know that we've got uh, fifteen teddy bears. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at problem B right over here. Um, and it says to circle columns. Now remember that columns go up and down. So this would be an example of the column. Now we have three columns of blank. You would simply write the number in each column right there and then the total here um, and of course don't forget to fill out your repeated addition sentence right down here alright so moving on um, we have to circle rows and remember rows go back and forth and so you would circle each row figure out how many are in each row and then the total and then of course you need to do the repeated addition right here uh, the next problem is of course circling columns columns go up and down so go ahead and give that one a shot <clears throat> alright so this says to use the array of triangles to answer the questions below, um, the array of triangles, of course, is right over here. So we have A, which is blank rows of blank equal 12. Um, so I'm going to come take a look over here, and how many rows do I have? Um, so I've got one row, two rows, three rows, remembering that the rows are the ones that go back and forth. Um, so I have three rows, and this right here is like saying how many are in each row. So three rows of blank equal 12. Um, and so I can see that I have four in each of these rows. So I just come over here and put a four in. Um, then it goes on to ask about the columns. So let's take a look at the columns. So blank columns of blank equal 12. Um, remember that the columns go up and down. And so we have one column, two column, three columns, and four columns. So we would simply come over here and say four columns of blank equal 12. So this would be how many are in each column. I think that you should be able to figure that one out for yourself. Um, Alright, so this is where it starts to get just a little bit tricky with problem C. And we see that we have three blanks right here, and we're looking for a total. Um, so obviously, if we have three blanks, um, we're going to have to choose either rows or columns, um, 
something to keep in mind is that we only have three blanks. Um, so if we were to try to use the columns, we would run out of room because there are actually four columns. So let's go ahead and use the rows instead. So we have three rows and each of those has four in it. So I would simply come and put one, four, two fours, and three fours. Because remember, when we're looking over here, we've got four in a row. So what we need to do is go f back over here and uh, 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 4 more is of course 12 so let's do a quick tidy up over here alright so we need to add one more row and how many triangles are there now um, so we simply need to come over here and add another row of triangles so that means we need to draw some triangles in just like this and then we need to figure out how many triangles are there now um, so hopefully uh, you can use repeated addition to figure that out um, so you should be able to simply add four more because we just added one more row so go ahead and pause and try and figure this answer out alright so moving on we have add one more column to the new array you made in 2D so that's simply saying leave this row that we put in there and draw another column as well. Um, so we would come over here and we would just draw another column and make sure that these line up um, cause that's how we keep our array nice and neat. Um, so we added the column. Uh, how many triangles are there now? Okay, so you would simply come in here and fill in this blank with how many triangles are in our array that we just updated. Alright, so once again we need to use the array of squares to answer the questions below. Um, and we obviously start off with a big old repeated addition. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four, five blanks. Um, so really you have to decide if you're going to use the rows or the columns first. Um, then you would come into B and just like we did in the last problem you would use the array to answer this question. So blank rows of blank equal blank. So this would be how many rows there are. So I would come back over here and I would simply you know, number your rows and then say how many there are in this blank right here. And then it's blank rows of blank equals blank. Um, so this blank right here would just be how many are in each row. So how many squares are in that row. Um, and then all together is what you would put in here. Then you just do the same thing with the columns. So you'd come over here and you know number your columns then figure out how many are in each column and all of that good stuff. Um, then it says to remove a row. So remove a row. So how many squares are there now? So what I would do is I would simply come down here, cross out a row, and then see how many squares there are now. And then it says to 
remove one column. So we removed the row. Now we need to remove a column. So I just simply go like that and just erase or cover up one of the columns. And then answer this question right here. How many squares are there now? Alright, so this is now moving on to the homework. Um, so what we're going to do is come in here and uh, complete the missing part describing each array. So we need to circle rows. And so remember that rows go back and forth. So I would circle all of the rows that I see in this problem right here. And then I would answer this question. So three rows of blank equals blank. So how many are in each row? And you would simply put that right here and then the total right here and then you would do your repeated addition so it would be one of these for each row um, and then you would simply do the same thing but with columns for this problem right here so four columns of blank equals blank All right, so moving on, we see that we need to circle rows. And so once again, just circle all the rows that you see in this problem right here. And use that information to fill in these blanks. Then come over here, and you need to circle columns. Of course, this is an example of a column. Then you would use the information you get from circling all of those columns to fill in the rest of this problem. Alright, so moving on to number two. Use the array of smiley faces to answer the question below. So you start by counting the rows. And so here's one row, two rows, three rows, and then you would come over and say how many are how many rows there are, how many are in each row, and how many smileys there are all together. Then you would do the same exact thing, but for columns. So you come over here and be like, oh, there's a column. And then you would label all your columns and count how many are in each column. I mean, kind of like what we had on the problem set earlier, you want to take notice of how many spaces there are for problem C. So there are only three spaces. Um, so here's a hint. So let's come over here and take a look. So we've got one, two, three rows. One, two, three, four, five columns. Um, so one of these needs more spaces than we have here. Um, so there's your hint. Um, then it says to add one more row. So you'd simply come down here and draw another row and just fill that in, going all the way across, and then see how many smileys there are. Then you would add one more column as well. So you would come over here and you would start drawing smileys and then go all the way down and then fill in that blank. Alright, now this is exactly the same as the problem set. Um, so you would do all of this just like described in both the problem set and um, the last problem that we did on the homework. But then you come down here and you have to remove one row. So you'd simply come in here and take a row out and answer how many squares are there. Then you would come down here and remove one column. So take that out and 
fill in that blank right there. So hopefully this has been helpful.